Hi, I'm Vance, and welcome back to Repair and Replace. In this episode, I'll show you how to troubleshoot some common problems in a Sloan Optima, Solus, or Ecos flushometer. Flushometers or flush valves are just automatically timed self-closing valves. At rest, water is at equal pressure in the upper and lower chambers. This keeps the flexible rubber diaphragm closed tightly on the valve seat. When the sensor is triggered, the solenoid opens and releases water from the upper chamber, which decreases the pressure. High pressure water from the inlet now lifts the diaphragm up and travels down the flush pipe. During the flush, some of the water is forced back into the upper chamber through a small bypass hole in the diaphragm. The flush continues until the pressure equalizes and pushes the diaphragm down onto the valve seat. Continuous flushing can happen when the bypass is clogged with dirt or debris. This will prevent the upper chamber from filling with water. Alternatively, if the diaphragm is damaged or fails to seal properly on the valve, it can also prevent the valve from shutting off. Another cause can be the solenoid. If it is stuck open, the water will continue to flow out of the flex tube and will prevent the upper chamber from pressurizing. Now, you can watch these repairs in the video's link below. If there is not enough water to properly flush the bowl, then first check the water supply. Open the control stop until you get a normal flush and a quiet operation. Since water flow rate is dependent on the pressure, the pipe size, length, and number of fixtures in the building can all affect the flow rate of each flush. Additionally, if the bypass hole in the diaphragm is enlarged, then the upper chamber will fill with water too quickly, reducing the flush volume. Also, using the wrong diaphragm, such as a 1 gallon per flush urinal kit on a 3.5 gallon toilet, or using the wrong regulator, can create a shortage of water. If there's an excessive flow of water during each flush, then first check the water supply. Close the inlet stop valve until you get a normal flush and a quiet operation. Another cause can be the wrong diaphragm or regulator, such as a 3.5 gallon per flush toilet diaphragm installed on a one gallon urinal. Also, if the bypass hole in the diaphragm is clogged with debris, it will increase the amount of water during each flush. If the unit isn't flushing automatically, then press the manual override button. If you hear two clicks from the solenoid, but the flushometer doesn't flush, then check the control stop to see if the water is on and clean or replace the diaphragm assembly. If you don't hear a click, then hold down the button and release after 40 seconds. If there is no flashing red light after 40 seconds, then remove the cover, check the position of the batteries and replace if necessary. Now, if you see a red flashing light, that means the batteries are good and the solenoid will have to be replaced. After you replace the solenoid, press the button. Now, if you still don't hear a click, then you'll need to replace the sensor module. Now, you can watch these repairs in the video's link below. If you like this video, leave a comment below. To keep up to date with Repair and Replace, please subscribe. And for the widest selection of parts, low prices, and same-day shipping, explore our website below. Thanks for watching.